Granita Latham could be named the lone finalist for the top job at HISD. And tonight, ahead of that vote, Dr. Latham is getting more support. Our Brandon Walker is live at the district's headquarters where the board meeting is just getting underway tonight. Brandon? Hey Chris, good evening to you. You all mentioned that support, a coalition, in fact, led by the Houston branch of the NAACP, but also several Democratic lawmakers, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, Congressman Al Green, Mayor Sylvester Turner, among other local leaders and other community leaders, showing their support for Dr. Lathan, saying that she has run this school district through the pandemic, also before the pandemic, and she should keep the job. All this as there are questions about what happens next once the decision tonight is made. We had gone through so much with COVID, and there was so much going on, so many moving parts. And Dr. Latham was like uh, the head of a ship in a storm on the open seas. If the board opts not to go with Dr. Latham, it could vote to resume its search for a new superintendent. If people thought the timing was off before, it's infinitely worse now when we're in the middle of a pandemic. Capo says the union, although not usually one to weigh in on who gets the job, thinks Dr. Lathan should be signed on, but for one year. We had nearly 60 different schools that was in I-rated campuses. And within her first year, she brought them from where they were down to 22 schools. Failing schools, says outgoing District 9 trustee and first vice president Wanda Adams. The board cited Lathan's success as reason behind its unanimous decision to hire her in March of 2018. That same board fired her months later in October in a surprise move, rehired her a week later. All of this reason behind TEA's takeover in part, which itself is still being duked out in court. So say the board moves to really hire Dr. Lathan. What does that decision mean? Honestly, a good question. It's one that I've asked Mike Morath directly and have not to date received a response. Our job is to govern and to look out for our districts and for HISD, for the children in our district. It's not to govern according to what we think um, TEA's decision is, is going to be. So you can listen to that and think that if the board does opt to keep Dr. Lathan on, is it for that year, whatever it may be, for the full-term job of superintendent, the board of trustees would be waiting for a response from the TEA. That's still outstanding right now, but you may recall trustees were ordered to halt their search in March of 2019 when the TEA decided that it would take over the, uh, the, the Houston Independent School District. But in January of this year, a temporary injunction was issued on that, but there's still some questions as to the strength of that decision and what it all means here. And so that's what they were just talking about, Zef Capo and uh, Kathy Bluford Daniels there in the decision tonight. So all we can say right now is stay tuned. We'll see what happens next based on the decision that's made tonight. Live on the Northwest Side, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.